Justice League. So here it is. It's finally arrived. All the DC fans, they've been waiting years for this one, myself included. It was directed by Zack Snyder, stars Ben Affleck as Batman, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, Henry Cavill as Superman. And we got some newcomers this time around with uh, Ezra Miller playing The Flash, Jason Momoa playing Aquaman, and Ray Fisher playing Cyborg. So with this new chapter in the DCEU, this is the big team-up movie. And unlike the Marvel movies, there wasn't, you know, separate movies to establish these characters. So in the beginning, we get a lot of intro scenes. And that's where the movie kind of fails for me initially is the first act. It feels a little choppy. They go from one story to one story to another. And I understand they're trying to play a little catch-up and get these characters established in a quick way. But this first act was very choppy. But don't let that deter you from seeing this movie. That's probably my biggest and frankly only complaint is the first act's a little choppy. Because once the team's assembled, it's on from there on. This movie was very entertaining, a lot of fun, a lot of lightheartedness. And that is due to Ezra Miller as The Flash. He was a real standout to me in this one. I mean, Ben Affleck, he's good as Batman again. Gal Gadot's awesome as Wonder Woman. And I don't think it's that big of a spoiler when I say that Superman comes back because of the production of all the reshoots and all the promotional material. You knew he was coming back, and he's awesome as Superman again. But the big standout was definitely Ezra Miller as The Flash. He brought a real heart to the story, and he was the funny bone. He worked in the comedy, and he made the lighter moments feel even funnier than the moments were as they presented themselves. And I feel that although he did make the, the moment or the movie funnier, there were a few moments where it's like they kind of shoehorned in a few too many jokes. But I do have to say that I got what I expected out of this movie. I, I'm not the biggest Zack Snyder fan. I think his storytelling is a little choppy, but he shoots action well, and he knows how to really build scale and establish scale with a big fight like this. And he did it very well. The action in this movie is awesome. Can't say there's anything super standout like the warehouse fight, Batman v Superman, but there's a fight scene on Themyscira with the Amazonians. That's pretty sweet. There's a fight scene with the Atlanteans in Atlantis. That was also sweet. And then the third act when the big fight happens, it it does stick to the same formula of kind of like this faceless army and then you fight the big baddie at the end. But it's just so cool to see all the Justice League members come out and bring out all their powers. You know, Wonder Woman's got her lasso of truth. You know, Superman, he's just Superman. Batman's breaking out all the gadgets. Aquaman's getting in it. The Flash is doing cool stuff. It's just, it was kind of like a dream come true. I mean, I grew up reading DC Comics. I've been waiting for Justice League forever and just to see this all come together. And along with Ezra Miller joining the team as the Flashers, uh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman and Ray Fisher as Cyborg. And I thought they did good jobs. It makes me look forward to what they're going to do in the future. But I feel like they kind of took a little bit of a backseat to the other characters. And that's not to say that their performances were bad. It's just that, you know, Gal Gadot's awesome as Wonder Woman. Ben Affleck's, you know, he proved all the haters wrong with his performance in Batman v Superman. He does it again in this one. So it's not that those guys are bad. It's just they're kind of outshined by, you know, the characters who are more presented at the forefront. You get to see Barry Allen interact with his father. And so I think that he was the best established character in a very short time. But the second and third act of this movie, this movie just kept getting better and better as it went along. And I'm really excited for what DC is going to do in the future now. Because I think these characters are great. And I just feel like they kind of need to maybe divorce themselves from Zack Snyder, the director. He can produce these movies. He co-wrote the story to Wonder Woman. I think he can still work within the DC universe. But it's just his direction leaves a lot to be desired from a storytelling standpoint. So I think DC's got the characters established. they got the great... they got good cast for it, they got good stories to work with, and I think that DC beats Marvel in the villains. They definitely had better villains. I mean, Steppenwolf in this one wasn't anything great, wasn't anything bad. He was, you know, he was there, but in this team-up movie, you just need the villain to facilitate the plot. It's really about the characters bringing them together. The Justice League sequel, that can have the big bad villain. I'm assuming Darkseid, they kind of established that. And then we can get our big juicy villain for them to fight over. But this one, this was about building the team. And I think that once they got past the choppy first act of establishing everyone and they put everybody together, that's when the movie really took off. So if you're going to see this, stick to the first act. First act might seem a little choppy and it's kind of scattershot. But once it gets going and the plot really kicks off, the movie's great. And uh, in Marvel and you know X-Men, all comic book movies now these days, fashion, there is a post credit scene. There's the mid credit scene after the first few, and then there's the very, very end credit scene. And for you DC comic fans, stick around for the very, very end credit scenes. There's a couple characters that just pop up, 
but it's a big payoff and it puts a smile on your face and it really it, this really has been geared towards what DC can go with next. I'm really looking forward to their future slate. Buffs. So guys, as you can tell, I really enjoyed this one. This was really a dream come true for me as a DC Comics fan to see the Justice League finally come together. And I know that the previous DCEU movies, they've kind of turned people off and I just, this is another step in the right direction. Wonder Woman was a step in the right direction. I can't say this was better than Wonder Woman. I can't say I enjoyed it more. But it shows that with Jeff Johns now being heavily involved in producing these movies, they are going to get better. I honestly think they need to divorce themselves from Zack Snyder, but he's turned in three hits. I'm assuming this one will be a hit. So I understand that if they don't. But all in all, I had a really good time. I, walking out of the theater, like I was thinking, yeah, I'm going to give this a 7.5. But I've just the more I think about it, the more things I enjoyed about it, and I'm definitely going to go back this weekend. I'm going to bump up my score a little bit. I'm going to give Justice League an 8 out of 10. I really recommend that you check this one out. Don't hold the other DCU movies against it. Go check this out. If you love these characters, if you grew up with them like me, you're going to have a great time. Buffs. All right, so that's it for my review of Justice League. What do you guys think of the movie? How do you think they handled the characters? Are you looking forward to what DC has to offer now? Uh, go ahead, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate all the support at Cinema Buffs. And keep with us through the holiday season. We're going to be bringing you some cold season movies. We're going to be bringing you some holiday movies that are just kind of underappreciated, people haven't seen before. And, of course, we'll bring you a new movie review every Friday. So don't forget, there's no place like the theater.